Hey, what's up guys? Travis here with Every Single Sunday, and today I'm here to talk to you about the best backpack ever made, the Climb Knack Pack. No. Well, I love my Knack Pack and we've had a lot of fun together. Climb made a moto-specific backpack finally called the Arsenal. So we're gonna check this thing out. Let's go. All right, guys, so like I said, climb knack pack, climb arsenal bag. Um, if you ride off-road, someone in your group, if not more than half your group or the whole group, everybody runs the climb knack pack. This has been my go-to bag for a long time, and I love it. And I've always wanted a couple little changes on the bag because uh, it's kind of a snowmobile-specific bag that's used for moto. And uh, climb has just come out with a brand new bag, so we're going to set this aside here and talk about the brand new Climb. I believe this is the Arsenal 15. And this is a very similar bag to the Knack Pack that I've been running for years. Um, just a little bit updated with some stuff that I'm very, very excited about. All right, so let's go ahead and we will start on this side of the bag, the side that you wrap around yourself and wear, because uh, those are a lot of things you're always looking to access here. Um, so same as before, you have straps to come over, you got your hydration pack, and then you got your pockets um, for whatever. For me, I've always kept my GoPro batteries that are live on this side and my dead ones on this side, except on the other bag, those pockets were very, very small. Um, on the new Arsenal here, they have been increased big enough where you can put your iPhone inside of here, or you can slide it straight down from the top and have quick access to pull it out over and over. Uh, both sides are set up like that, so I'm very, very excited for a little bit more room right here, something you guys can jump into and really, really enjoy and improve the ride. Now, while I'm very excited about that, I'm also very, very, very excited about the whole back piece right here. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. Um, but as I'm looking at my computer monitor right here, I can see that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So coming down, this is all big mesh all the way through here. There's these foam blocks, so those are gonna keep this off your back. And then the mesh here, is gonna make it to where you get a ton of airflow so you don't get that sweaty back thing going on that uh, nobody likes to have. As we turn the bag around, um, very similar to the knack pack, you have a goggle pouch up top, you have a tool pouch or where you keep your keys on the bottom, but it's been changed. Uh, the knack pack had a hard case up here for goggles. Let's open this one up. So very similar pack right here. Actually, this goes a little bit deeper, so you could probably put two pairs of goggles. You also have a little zipper spot right here that has a little goggle cleanser rag, cleaner rag. You're not really cleansing them, you're just cleaning them, wiping them down. So nice little pouch there. Open up this spot here. Oop, what is this? Clip from my hose or something. So anyway, this is very similar, laid out inside. Uh, good spot right here. You can see how much my hand fits in there. I have big man hands. Little spot where I've always kept my registration. And then you got this clip for your keys so you can tuck those down inside of there. From there, we have this external pouch. Um, and for me, I always keep my tool pack and my climb stowaway jacket in here. So stowaway below, tools above it. And then you have the cinch straps to pull us down nice and tight if you have to put a fender or swing arm guards or whatever falls off your friend's bike on the ride home. Maybe their helmet or their head, hopefully not. Once we open this up, we will access the main pocket. And I assume this is where our hydration pack is gonna be, because that's where it lived in the last one. We got our tool pouch that comes in here. And then inside, giant thing, you can fit a couple jackets in here. You have your hydration pack that goes down the back. Pull this out. These are three liters or two and a half. Quick tip, if you wanna get the full amount of water in here, this blue line in the center, it's kind of hooked together like this. You have to open the bag up, unhook it to get the full three liters. It gets a little bit thicker, but more water is always better. Anyway, um, main pouch inside here for your hydration. You got a little extra sleeve there maybe for a cell phone. Actually, that's for a walkie-talkie. If you run a radio, you can put the radio in that little sack right there, run the cord out. Um, as far as the toolkit here, I like to run them on the outside just like this. These straps go through. And yeah, let me show you my tool pack. Stay there for a second. Back to the Climb Knack Pack that I love. Like I said, you disconnect this, you disconnect that, and then tool pouch comes out. And like I said, I keep my Climb stowaway jacket right there. Basically, it's a shell, it's waterproof, it's windproof, and it packs up nice and tight. So that's how I keep my stuff. 
these will be getting transferred over to the new setup. Um, anyway, this is the same toolkit that comes with the Arsenal pack that came with my NAC pack. And this is kind of how I have mine laid out. A little bit of a mess, but it's got all the goodies in there. Um, I keep all my factory KTM tools. I keep my tire spoons here with some tape wrapped around them. This one's a smaller tire spoon, so this is a 27 mil. Maybe, maybe it's a 32, I'm not sure. That's a 32, this one's got a 13 and a 12 for the rim lock. Titanium Motion Pro wrenches, bunch of other cool stuff in there. So anyway, calm down. Put those over there. Bring this back up, which is reflective as I'm sure you can tell. This is the new Climb Arsenal bag. It's the 15 liter Climb Arsenal 15. Yay, it's fantastic. Um, seriously, this is going to be a staple in my riding. I haven't taken it out yet, but I'm sure I'm going to love it. And uh, I will rate the NAC pack a 100 out of 100. Now let's do 95 out of 100. This one's going to be 100 out of 100. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's going to be good. So go buy one. Have fun. Get out and ride, guys. Later.